Hello, you absolute nerds watching this. I am filming while I am updating my system. If you don't know yet, I screwed up my Debian by using the auto remove a little bit too early, which is before I completed my backup. I mean, I did complete my backup, just a bunch of files were missing and, and it just sent me down a dark hole of not understanding why my system crapped out on me on this basic command. It shouldn't have happened, but it did. And now I'm overriding my old Debian because I'm too lazy to update it. Usually I don't do that. I just do the distribution update to the next level of distribution. In this case, it would be Debian 10 to Debian 11. But I figured that my Debian got a little bit screwed up because there are a lot of repositories on there that don't belong there and also package managers that I don't need and whenever you do that on Linux it's just bad things about to happen. So I want to keep it clean this time so I decided to start over instead of updating the system and I actually think that is something you should do every once in a while. Anyway this is kind of a installation vlog and anyway let's let's go on with the Debian. Like, why would we do a screen recording? That is boring. That is uh, for people who are perfect. I'm not perfect. So anyway, Debian setup is really easy. Just I have to remember that I want English language. It's usually I just forget. But the time zone, dude, this locale shit always fucks me up. Because the locale, I'm not in America, all right? So I'm in, where is Europe? Here, Europe. And I'm in Berlin. So... Yeah, now I've got the right time zone. Whenever I do an R script or something, my locale is just set to something German. And then all the dates are in German and I have to remember that wherever I go because, you know, I actually need that German locale for a bunch of other things. It's helpful. But when it comes to programming, it's really fucking annoying because it messes with all the formats. Sometimes you have a comma instead of a dot for the decimal separator and stuff like that. I don't know, but I don't want to choose anything else because that's even messier, right? So system language will be set to American English. Numbers and dates local will be set to Deutsch. Yeah, fuck this shit. No, I don't want Deutsch. Okay, great. German keyboard layout. I think that's about right. Ü, ü, ä, ä. Kleiner, grosser, dollar Zeichen, alles da. And now it figured out that I already have a fucked up Debian on this computer. Awesome. And now with the partitioning, this is kind of nice. You can just choose to install your new Debian on your old partition. You don't have to install it alongside, right? You can just pick replace partition. And then here's my old Debian buster. And then here you go. Just replace this because the swap and everything already exists and we don't have to create new partitions for that. If I wasn't a lazy fuck though, personally, I would always choose a home partition, like a virtual partition just for the home directory because that just makes it easier. But yeah. Oh, now we have to choose a cringy name, dude. Are there people, are there people out there who actually choose their real name for their computer? Like if your name is Christopher, do they choose Christopher as a login and then Christopher PC as their computer name? That's so dumb. <laughs> I hope there's no Christopher watching, but like usually my name at my computer is just me. I mean, I could use I, but that is the imaginary number. So no, that's just wrong. But dude, if you're watching this, you must be really, really desperate, more desperate than my hair. Let's go. I choose the right password. Let's check if it is the right password. Let's go. Shit, I clicked it. It's like was installing a Windows, I don't know, 20 years ago. Goodbye, all you data crap. I just feel so bad for messing up my system because I'm always like, Linux is so easy to use and everybody should use Linux and it's not difficult. I mean, it isn't, you know, you would fuck up a Windows 
just as much if you would install a lot of bloatware and you know 500 different scanners for viruses that you can't prevent entering your computer anyway because you're always clicking on um, I don't know fucking underage chicks.exe like just don't do that and so I don't actually think it's easier to fuck up a Debian or a Ubuntu or something than it is to fuck up a Windows or a Mac you know I don't know how many times my Mac crashed when I had to work with one holy crap I will never understand why people even get this system it's not pretty and you can't change any anything about it it's not really helping you in everyday life anyway I mean all the software that they have that comes with it is not helpful. It's just very mediocre, boring software. And the good software, you always have to pay for that on any computer. Just like the Mac stuff, you can't upgrade anything. And at some point, the computer will just be outdated and die and leave you alone and be like, fuck you. <laughs> So, I mean, even worse with the phones. Like, I really don't get why anybody would torture themselves with these devices. This is nothing compared to the trouble that I had to put up with with my Mac. Dude, no, never again. Like, I'd rather install a new Debian every week than use an Apple computer for a day. Literally, it's it's that, that much less trouble. Like, I wouldn't really care. I would find a way to automate it. So, yeah, 6%, great. About a third of the installation is done. I'm still not looking forward to installing Blender again. I'm actually not looking forward to any of this. I think this time I will do it less systematically. Usually when I install a new system, which has been a while since Debian, but usually when I install a system, I create a markup file where I note down everything that I installed, like all the libraries and all the commands. So it's like neat and nice in this file. And then I just have to look at my blog and look at the markup file and follow my own instructions. Ooh, 77%. So however, over the past few years, I've been kind of not in the mood to do that anymore. Also, installations have become much easier. I didn't have to write a driver for anything in a decade. So that is just so much easier now. Printer, everything works right away. I can't complain. And it's just very easy to use. Like the only issues I really have on the Debian would be compatibility issues or just like, yeah, how could you call it? Like option clash or package clash issues where you have either different package managers interfering with each other or you have to run like a standalone version of an app in some directory because it's just not in the repository and you don't want to add that weird repository and some things I run out of my user folder because I want several versions of the app and for instance Blender I never really use the version that comes with the distribution I don't even bother to install it in the correct directory I just use it out of the home directory and that way if something crashes I can also just take my own files and rsync them over where I want them and I'm done my system is safe but right now my backup system is not fully functioning as in the system that I have to back up stuff is too redundant, too bloated, and I'm behind on checking on what I actually need. So I have a lot of backups that I probably don't need anymore, but you know, FOMO. Oh, it's done. Now I can restart the computer. Great, let's do that. Actually, in my opinion, this is one of the biggest perks of a lightweight minimalist computer system. And with the system, I don't mean the operating system, I just mean your system that you have as human. For me, it's just so easy to set up this computer like new. This t took me like, I don't know what, five minutes and I'm in. It works again, it'll be just fine. It has an XFC desktop, which is nice. And now I'm just gonna choose my Wi-Fi, choose my background image, whatever, you know, it's fine. I don't have a lot of software that is super annoying on my computer. I don't have to set up a lot of things. I mean, yeah, um, LaTeX distribution, that'll be a thing for another day. I'm not gonna do that now. The most important stuff is my YouTube stuff like Blender and VLC player and that kind of thing. But sometimes I'm thinking about, do I even need that? I mean, personally, I think VLC player is the most awesome player of anything, but would I need it if someone would would pay me not to use it, probably I'd choose being paid for not using it, but it depends how much. Like it's it's not a huge pain in the ass to use all the built-in stuff. But personally, I'm not a fan of keeping a system super clean because that in a way is also like 
with Mac architecture. Because Apple, they want you to change nothing. And that is not what Linux is about. No matter how clean the Debian philosophy wants you to keep your computer, it's, it's a great philosophy, great principle. But principles include rules that you can break. It's not like completely stiff and never allowed to change and you're never allowed to change your mind. Of course you are allowed to change your mind and of course you are allowed to tweak your system. But yeah, I mean like this mistake, this taught me some more responsibility. I'm not gonna mess up my system again in this way and I know that I'm heading towards some kind of evolution here because I actually can't remember the last time this happened. It was a long time ago. Like before that I had Manjaro and I found Manjaro really 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 annoying. Arch Linux in general I just prefer not to use it but I mean I understand why people do it but I don't want it. I prefer Debian. So I remember that I had a lot of trouble with the system especially with all the media apps and when I switched to Debian this just basically never happened again. And so the last time that I really messed up a system is probably like I don't know five or six years ago. And I think that is quite a good track record. So now I'm gonna set up my system and that was it with this little follow me a long way I installed Debian 11 like a complete dumbass. Yeah, vlog is over. I hope your system is running smoothly and if it's not then use the comments to whine about all your horrible experiences and then we can whine together and also I hate gatekeeping. I hate snobbery. I hate it when people are like oh I'm so much better than you because I have this or that app or this or that system. In the end you know, speaking f as someone who knows how to code, no one know them all. If you know one difficult programming language, you know all the other shits as well. And it's not hard. None of this is hard. Open heart surgery, that's hard with a D. Um, keeping calm when somebody is uh, shouting at you or threatening you with violence, that is hard. Setting up a Debian isn't humanly hard, it's the easiest fucking thing to do and if you brag about stuff like that, that is the definition of being a lame dumbass. So I hope you didn't do that in the comments and you know watch the video till the end or maybe you're you're now deleting your shit or maybe you're a proud dumbass and so you, um, you let me know about my shortcomings if that makes you happy. Either way people commenting on my stuff usually helps the algorithm. Maybe I'm gonna make this just for members you know just for the cool people. Yeah let's see let's see maybe I just put in the teaser and then the rest of it like all the cool stuff or no I don't actually think any of this is cool but all the other stuff is gonna be just for members. That would actually be a good idea like using a paywall. I mean I hate paywalls but I also like it when people support me because it's just super nice and I want to reward them in some way you know. Yeah maybe I'm gonna make more paywall content. So if you want more paywall content as in hangouts or talks or these kind of rants or rambling stories then you let me know just give me like a, a seed like something to start from. Just give me an idea what you are interested in as a vague topic and I will try to pick that up and do it next time. That's it.